Hey everyone, Rich Ferguson here, your favorite trickster, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you five bar bets or party tricks with matches. That's right, so make sure if you're underage, you have permission to do these cool party tricks. And if you love party tricks, magic, bar bets, and more, check out my brand new book, Amaze Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere, makes an awesome gift for Christmas. That's right, so check the link in the description and stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna do an epic giveaway to one of you. Let's do this. For this first one, you're gonna need four matches. You're gonna put the matches on the table like a plus sign. Then you're gonna bet somebody that they can only move one match and make a perfect square. How do you do it? You can pause the video and figure it out on your own or go ahead and watch this explanation. The solution is very devious. Let's zoom in and show you the secret. Right here in the center where the matches overlap, you'll notice how I've set them up. Two matches go on the end of one match and the other match is by itself. The reason being is to make a perfect square, all you have to do is move one match, just like you said. You pull this match away and right in the very center, you have yourself a perfect square. This one will drive people bonkers because they're gonna keep trying to move a match around trying to figure out how they could make a perfect square by stacking them and moving them. Share this video or else. For this bar bet, you're gonna need six matches. What you're gonna do is make a fun shape like this and then you bet somebody, can you move these matches around and make three perfect equilateral triangles? So of course, people are gonna move these around and try to figure out how to make three equilateral triangles. They might try to cut one in half, but that won't work. They're not the same. You need equilateral triangles. How do you do this? You can pause the video and try to figure it out on your own or watch this instruction. Start with an equilateral triangle on your surface and the rest is simply thinking in 3D. So go ahead and hold the other three matches in your fingertips like this, turn it over, and you create yourself a pyramid with three equal lateral triangles. Seriously, share this video, damn it. This bar bet trick or challenge requires four matches and you will be lighting to, so make sure you have parental supervision. Check this out. Here's the setup. First, you're gonna light one match and you're going to place it next to another so it catches on fire. Let it sit for just a moment, then blow it out. <sighs> just hold still for a bit, and you'll notice that after a few moments, these two have joined together almost like they're glued. Once this is created, the rest of the trick is self-working, but here's the setup. Do this in front of your victim or your friend, then put it on a table and do this. Take the two that are burnt and place them on a surface and tilt them toward a third match, kind of like a tripod. The bet is this. Have them try to pick up these three matches with one other match. They can't use their fingers. They must just hook it with this match. They're gonna try and try and fail. And here is the secret. You're gonna go underneath and next to the two that are burnt and you're gonna very, very lightly let that third leg fall, then pull up and you'll notice that that little piece that sticks through the top interlocks underneath where they were burnt and now you can pick them up as one unit. How cool is that? Turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. For this one, get a handful of matches and you're gonna make a two by two square or grid of matches. It's going to be four squares, five technically if you consider the outside square, which in this example, we are not considering that. So there's one square here, then two, three, four, and five. But for this particular bar bit, we're counting this small square here, here, and here as four individual small squares. So the bet is this, you can move 
three matches and you must turn these four into three equal small boxes, exactly this size. How do you do it? You can pause the video and try this on your own or watch this explanation. You will watch your friends moving pieces around, trying to cut squares in half, all kinds of tricks, but the solution is very simple. All you're gonna do is create another box right here. Watch. One, two, three. And you have three boxes exactly the same size that you started with out of four boxes. I absolutely love how clever this bar bet or challenge is. Get yourself 16 matches and make yourself a seven minus two equals five. And the rules are this. They are allowed to move two matches any way they want, rearrange them any way they want, and they must create a new formula that is also accurate and true. Only moving two. You can pause the video and see if you can figure this out or stick around for this explanation. This is such a clever party trick. You can do this with toothpicks. You can do this at school, show your teacher, show your friends, or just try to win some money. Take part of the seven off, turn this minus into a plus, and then turn this five into a three. Only moving two sticks, you've made a whole new formula. One plus two equals three. How cool is that? Hey, thank you so much for checking out my video. If you love party tricks and bar bets and scams, all kinds of fun stuff, be sure to check out my book. It does make a great gift. Amaze anyone, anytime, anywhere with magic tricks, bar bets, and scams. In addition to card tricks, learn great party tricks and icebreakers so you can be the life of the party. With bar bets, you can win free drinks anywhere you go. And if you want to take your tricks to the next level, we have an entire section devoted to tips and tricks for you performers out there. So click the link below and get Amaze Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere, so you can be the life of the party. Now it's time for a giveaway. All you gotta do is make sure you're a subscriber, comment down below, and within 24 hours of when this video is released, I'm just gonna pick a random name, and I'm gonna send this off to one of you. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and I'll catch you next week. Peace.